Hey guys, Malcolm Modell here from Mr. Modell TV with another tutorial um, on the whole world of Max gaming, editing, whatever. So what I've encountered recently is I've obviously made the transition from Windows to Mac, which is the best thing I've ever done. Um, I still have my Windows, I still have my laptop, but it, a part of my main station is my Mac now. Um, and I've started to do a lot more um, tutorials on, on After Effects, VFX, um, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, gaming, um, and tutorials and, and stuff like that. So, so, so what I've encountered recently is, is I've started using um, new screen recording um, just here, which allows me to record everything on my screen and um, also my sound and my video. And if I want to record um, my webcam as well, so you can guys can see me, I can do that. I can plug in an external, an external microphone and you guys can hear me a little bit better, which hopefully you can. So what I've encountered with the problem with this, I do a lot of um, a lot of editing in Premiere Pro and After Effects with my videos and chop and change them and make them better. Whenever you record in QuickTime, QuickTime records in something called variable frame rate, which means it alters the frame rate throughout recording for optimum performance or whatever the bloody hell it does. It's completely ridiculous and stupid, but there's obviously a reason for it. When you import into Premiere Pro, just here, that's like a constant frame rate. So what happens is when you import your video, whether it be for gaming or tutorials or whatever you wanna, your daily life routines, whatever, what will happen is your audio sync and your video sync will be out. So in the beginning, everything will be okay and all match up, but then as we get further along the timeline, it'll start to be out of sync. And that's, that's very bad, obviously, for people doing tutorials and, and gaming stuff, because everything will be completely out, which is, which is terrible. So something I found that will fix this is, is what we need to do is we need to change our video from um, QuickTime from uh, variable frame rate to constant frame rate. Now I searched the internet for, for the best application for this and I found one. It's down here and it's a great little symbol. It's a little cocktail drink and a pineapple. So for all you Mac users out there, you'll know that anything that's not from a trusted party um, it is a problem. Mac doesn't like it or your system doesn't like it and it won't let you download it. So this is safe, but what I found is if you can't download it or it won't let you download it, don't even give you the option to say open anyway. All you simply need to do is go to your system preferences, go to your security and pri uh, privacy, wait till that opens, and down here, so obviously general, we need to unclick this little padlock, guys, type in your password. Um, I'm not going to tell you what mine is, not that it matters, but you'll see that you've tried to open it and it'll be down here somewhere saying that you've tried to open it. What you need to do is you just need to authorize this little great cocktail and pineapple, I love a cocktail right now. But what it'll let you do is it'll let you, uh, it'll let you open, open this program. So we need to relock it and obviously make all our settings secure again. Now that's open and we've got that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna double click it when it works. If it works, come on. Okay, mine's not working. So let's remove it from dock. Let's go back to my downloads. Let's double click my downloads, bring it back up, and then we're just gonna click it this way. Obviously it doesn't like it very well, but it's it, it's okay, it's safe, guys, don't worry. So now we've brought that up, the first thing it comes to is it'll allow you to open up something, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna open up what I was trying to fix, which is ejection round and muzzle flash tutorial, which is showing you guys, you can check it in the description, um, and I'll add a link to, to, to all the other things in the description as well, like where to download the, the, the application from. But yeah, so this is the, the video I was doing, ejection round and muzzle flash tutorial, showing you, how to guide, showing you guys how to add um, ejection rounds and muzzle flashes to your action videos or whatever you wanna create. Um, so this is what I was trying to do. My sound was well out of sync with this. So, so here's how I corrected it. So you, all you do is you just go to open, and what I'll do is that'll bring that in here. So it'll give you a, a basic breakdown of what everything is. Obviously it was a one angle. It just, it's, it's a lot more than one angles. Um, no, it wasn't, it was one angle. Uh, your duration uh, and where it's gonna be saving it to. So mine's gonna go to, to desktop and it's gonna save it as ejection round tutorial. I'm just gonna alter that slightly and just change that to ejection round tutorial um, uh, handbrake. Yeah, it's still HB, so I know it's a handbrake. And all we want to do, guys, is we want to just alter our settings slightly. So over here is our video encoder. So we do want it H.264, high definition, um, constant quality, yes, frame rates per second. So this is, at the moment, it's at peak frame rate, and we don't want that. We want it at constant frame rate. 
So I'm going to change that to constant frame rate and I'm going to change it down to 25 frames a second. And now, guys, this should, uh, this should work. So what we're going to simply do is we're going to click start and we're going to allow um, our encoding for, for our video. This is going to take a while, guys, but um, I will show you the, the before and after uh, video of this at the end so you can see what it actually does. But this actually brings your, um, your coding, uh, your sync and everything back into a constant frame rate of 25 frames a second or whatever you decide to choose. Um, uh, and there you have it, guys. Nice and easy, free application, handbrake. Check the description. Please like, please subscribe for more videos and more tutorials on everything you need to know about the world of all of these puppies down here and more. But let's key out the green first so we can see the, the, see everything around it. So if you go over to your effects and presets over here, simply just type in key. And then what you'll do is you'll, you'll see key light 1.2. But let's key out the green first so we can see, the, the, see everything around it. So if you go over to your effects and presets over here, simply just type in key. And then what you'll do is you'll, you'll see key light 1.2.